this would just be like great concert makeup. You're just like. Good evening. To be completely honest with you guys, I've had a pretty rough past couple weeks. But because of those past couple weeks, it's really got my demonic brain flowing. This look was actually inspired by a painting that I like just did, which I just posted on my channel. Which I bet you guys are wondering what the painting was inspired by, considering this was inspired by my own painting. Does that make sense? Inspireception. The overall concept of this look is the battle of the heart and your mind. All the products that you say were listed somewhere around the video. Please also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by painting my face white. Yes, there is a white paler than me. I'm then using gray eyeshadow to go ahead and fill in all of the skull's details. When doing a skull, the easiest way to actually find where you're going to place things is literally just to feel the bones right underneath your face. Follow the line that's underneath your cheekbones, around your eyes. Obviously, you're not going to fill in your nose because you don't actually have a nose bone, just nose cartilage with a hole. You don't care, moving on. And throughout the skull, I'm also just placing like some random cracks and some details. I'm then going ahead and using a darker gray eyeshadow just to deepen up more of the details. Be sure to fill in your jawbone hole, plus your temples, plus your eye sockets darker than everything else. I'm then going ahead and just shading around the teeth as well as around my jawbone and also filling in my nose using black body paint. Continuing with the black body paint, I'm then also filling in my eye sockets, my temples, as well as everything else that needs to be deepened up. I'm then just filling in any more shading that needs to be added to the skull. Using tan body paint, I'm also highlighting within the eye sockets of the skull. As well as also highlighting the tip of my nose to make it look more like it was broken off. It's time for the heart. Using red body paint, I'm drawing the top of a human heart on my head. Always an exciting time on this channel. I'm then filling it in with red body paints and just fading it out by tapping it down on my forehead. I also then decided this was a little bit light so I mixed in a red and a black body paint to make a deep red and went over that. And then I was sad facing because I realized I wanted to use alcohol based paint but had no alcohol. But then I got a huge thing of alcohol and my life just got better. Using alcohol activated paints I went ahead and filled in more of the bloody details of the heart. That's the reason that I wanted to go with the alcohol based makeup because it just gives more of a realistic blood tone. And this whole time I was dabbing the paint on to give more of that shiny, gross looking texture. I was also using a reference photo and just highlighting and shading as I went along. Explaining how I painted the heart is actually a lot more difficult than just watching the heart. For all the blood drips down my face, I mixed together black and red alcohol paint to make it very dark. Be very careful when doing drips on your face using alcohol makeup. You do not want to get it in your eyeball. It will burn. I then just visually wanted to see more red, so I went ahead and went back in with my red body paint and just tapped that around my cheekbone as well as around my jaw and then went back in and made some veins. Mm, more like capillaries, not so much veins. And you can leave it like that or you can fill in everything else black. 